the ladies at skate canada oh the russian sweep continues again i got five out of the top six ladies the order was wrong but i still got five out of six as expected camilla valieva won the event I had said um, that she will either get her triple axel here or at her next event, and she did. Um, this was a clean, long, and short program for her. She dominated in the free. Valieva is our anointed Olympic champion, and rightfully so. Her elements and jumps are far above everyone else. However, it still hurts my heart that that awful version of Bolero will be our Olympic winning program. However, you could tell Valieva is a hard worker. She's diligent. I wish the pressure wasn't so crushing on her. Every time she gets on the ice, you can literally see the pressure coming off of that child. She's getting the job done, but I don't think she's enjoying it. And I really wish for her being 15, for this being her senior debut, for her being an Olympic favor, favorite, she was able to enjoy it more. However, this was two clean programs for her. The triple axel is still not perfect, but it's definitely improving. By the end of the season, she should definitely have everything down pat. Coming in second, Empress! Elizaveta Tutamisheva, another silver medal for Empress Tutamisheva. Honestly, I still think we will have an all E30 girls team. However, how happy am I to see the fight that Elizaveta is putting up? Many people are wondering why Elizaveta's PC scores have skyrocketed so fast. I think it's because of three facts. First, the ISU has started to realize that there are no women in figure skating. Just a bunch of little girls that can barely make it past one Olympic cycle. The ISU sees promoting to Tamisheva as a way to dispel this narrative. Second, the judges have shitted all over to Tamisheva for years. I think now that she's at the end of her career, the judges see this as a way to make amends for her. Third, the Russian Figure Skating Federation is determined to sweep the podium and ladies at the Olympic. However, with two of the top contenders, top Iteri contenders injured, they can't afford to have all their eggs in one basket. If they start to inflate Elizaveta's PC scores now, if something happened and they have to put Elizaveta on the podium, there won't be that much of a complaint about her scores since she had been getting them all along. So basically, they've learned their lesson from what happened with Yulia. Anyhow, I don't care. I am so happy for Elizabeth Tutamisheva. To me, her triple axel is still the best. It's like butter. It's so effortless. It's like she can do it in her dream. I am rooting for the Empress. Who would have thought? That the one person to put a wrench in Iteri's plan would be Elizaveta Tutamisheva. Again, that's a bet if anyone had told me about, I would not have taken. Nonetheless, I am so happy for Empress Tutamisheva. Her third um, win over Kostonaya and her second silver medal. Congratulations, Tutamisheva. In third place was Aliona Kostonaya. I had her in first place in the hope that I could manifest this into reality. Unfortunately, I failed. I honestly think Team Tuberetsi took Kostanaya back, one for the publicity and two for the chance to humble her. To give her a fair chance this season, Team Tuberetsi could have had her return to her Adios um, No Nino program. This is what we the fans have asked for. Instead, they gave her another subpar short program. Her step sequence in the short program is a level two. The, choreogra the choreography sequence is a snooze. To make matters worse, as in the ultimate F.U. move, they have her doing lovely 
as the last program of her career. The program that caused her to leave Sumbo 70 in the first place, Team to Better See have decided that that is the program that Kostanaya will end her career on. I can understand why Kostanaya has no will to fight. She's barely there in the short program with that awful music cut. And once the triple axel goes wrong in the long, the fight also leaves her. Kostanaya lost to Tutamisha but not just in jumps, but on step sequence, spin, and performance. Every time she competes, it seems like her chances of making the Olympic get smaller and smaller. Now her only chance at the Grand Prix final is to beat Anna Shabakova at the International de France. However, without her team behind her or her federation supporting her, I don't see this happening. I, I'm really not sure why, why Team 2 Beretsi is even bothering at this point. Clearly, Kostanaya is not a priority for them, and clearly they could care less, uh, you know, about what's happening with Kostanaya. Because if they did... Why Why make her learn a whole new short program when you already know she's not the best at learning new choreography? Why not give her an older program that's world-class, that's well-choreographed, that already plays well with the judges? Why not give her a fair chance? <sighs> Anyhow, all I can do at this point is light a candle for Kostanaya because it doesn't look so good. On a happier note, on a happier note, my Mia Hara was the only lady in the top, top six that I did not have in the top six, but what a delightful surprise she was. She has beaten Kari and Wakaba and is now making her case for the Olympic. Mai is well liked by the Japanese Federation and with her consistency coming back her chances are looking better and better at every competition really she really had the moment of her career for me in that long program every jump just landed the performance just uh the only person that I feel like had a better night was impressed to the Mishaba but Maya was definitely up there for me congratulations and welcome back Maya um, Alyssa Liu finished fifth, which is where I had her. Um, I think with this outing, she's confirmed her status as the leading American lady. This was not a bad outing for Alyssa. The triple axel did not work in the long program. However, she still has time. Her team has some time to work on, you know, getting the triple axles clean, getting the triple axles fully rotated, working more on the transition, working more on the spins and the footwork. But overall, they are definitely leading her in the right path. And I feel like the U.S. Federation doesn't really have a better option right now other than Alyssa Liu. So I'm really looking forward to see how she grows as the season progress. Wakaba um, Higuchi completes the top six. She was great in the short program. After she landed that triple axel in the long program, I was like, yes, here we go. Unfortunately, the popping in inconsistency reared its ugly head once again. This was not the outing that Wakaba needed to help improve her federation faith in her. I feel like the Japanese federation is already not really that invested into their skaters and Wakaba is not one of their favorite and she needed to at least meddled at this competition to change that narrative. Again, all I can do is light a candle so Wakaba will become another person that I add to my candle vigil. At the end of the night, Empress Tutta Misheva was definitely the performance for me and the ladies. Yes, Elisabetta doesn't have the skating skill of some of the other ladies. However, what she does have is ice presence and a fun personality. Like the judges, she makes me smile and I want to give her all the PCS. Well, let me know. What do you think of the chances of Empress Tutta Misheva making the Olympic team? Or are you like me and you think it will be an all-eat-30 girl team at the Olympic? Let me know in the comments below.